Hey everybody and welcome to the lounge, all my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers. Today especially grillers because, that's right, chilling and grilling today. A little chilly today, it's starting to rain, so obviously we won't be eating out here, but I wanted to start it out here. Got my man Simon here, with his little buddy Cooper, I don't know if you can see him or not, but he's on, the, on his hand right there. Anyway, today we are actually going to make penny pasta with shrimp and asparagus a la Uncle Larry. So grab yourself something cold to drink, put your feet up and relax, and let's get started. Now for all the stuff that we're going to need. We are going to need some asparagus, naturally, some penny pasta. I need two boxes of that, an onion, that's on the large size, size, uh, well you could use a medium one or, that's really medium, that's not real large, but anyway, two pounds of shrimp I have in here. I got some wine three cans of tomato sauce, some basil, some flat leaf parsley, you guys should remember that, I use it quite a bit, some olive oil, some heavy cream, some garlic, salt and pepper, butter, that's just for the sauce there and the asparagus is actually going in the sauce too. The butter also is going to be dual purpose, going to use it in that. Also going to use it for our Italian bread with some garlic salt. Also, I have some fresh Parmesan cheese that I grated up. First thing we want to do, get the pasta started, the water for the pasta. Don't forget to add your salt and remember, on the box, it should always have the directions to prepare it. So, but the first thing's first. Throw some salt in your water. Turn your water on. Well, turn your stove on. And of course, put the right burner on so you know which, you're not cooking the wrong pot. And I'm gonna put that on high right now because I want that to come to a boil. So, put a lid on it, Tom. I mean, everybody, and uh, wait for it to boil. That's your first step. Second step is gonna be, we're gonna get the asparagus ready. So while our water is getting ready to boil over there, get our asparagus ready, and what you wanna do is cut off the white parts. You know, it's usually about two inches on the bottom. You wanna cut them off. Now, I'm gonna cut these in half, right? And then in half again, like that. Put them all in the pot. I'm not gonna try and cut all these at the exact same time. And if there's one that gets carried away because he's a little bit bigger than the rest, I'm cutting down again. Put them all in here. And just put enough water in to cover them up. That's all you need. Put them on a stove. I'm going to put a little salt. Salt in there. Turn it on. And I'm going to put a lid on them so I can get that to a boil faster. If I can find it. Tom likes to hide them in there. So that's not the right one. It's not? No. It's the clear one. The larger clear one. <laughs> Sorry if the camera just sort of lifted off there. I was showing Dad wh kind which lid it was. anyway though, didn't it? Not really. Time to cook the shrimp. Take your one and a half tablespoons of butter and one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Put that in your pan. Let that pan get nice and hot. Once it gets hot, then that the butter's all melted and everything, then we're going to add the shrimp in. As you can see, our butter and our oil is nice and hot now. Don't let that butter burn in there. You don't want it to turn brown. 
put your shrimp in there. And we're gonna cook these, mix them all up in there. We're gonna cook these and you want these on both sides, you want to make sure you kind of kind of stir them up on here um, because you want both sides cooked, but you want them to become opaque, if you know what that means. If not, I suggest you Google it. Anyway, it's like, you want it to turn, you, you'll know when they're done. I can always tell when they're done. Can you tell when they're done, Tom? Not at all? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. But you don't want to overcook shrimp. If you overcook shrimp, then they become rubbery. So it's kind of important to um, keep an eye on them. Once they turn completely all together white, then you're in trouble. But the shrimp is done, so we're going to take shrimp out. I'm going to put it on a plate now and just set it aside for now. And the reason why, Tom, <laughs> Tom's getting hungry. He loves shrimp, don't you? Mm -hmm. It's like your favorite thing, isn't it? One of. I'm going to have to keep an eye on them or else he'll be eating them while I'm not paying attention. No, I wouldn't do that. Yes, you would in a heartbeat. Oh, maybe. The one thing that Tom doesn't like in this meal that I'm making is actually asparagus. He's not a fan of that. But with that, and, and if you guys aren't, uh, just don't put that in your... Put, don't put that in your, uh, in your dish. I ab absolutely love it. Because most normal people do. I mean, most people do. I'm just kidding, Tom. Everybody likes different stuff, and that's perfectly fine. But what I'm what I'm saying is, is you know, with anything with here, if you don't like shrimp, don't put the shrimp in it. It's not going to be quite the same. But the reason why I didn't dump this fluid out is because I'm actually going to use that in this big pot. I'm going to turn that off and pour that into there. In the meantime. Our water is almost to a boil here. Our asparagus is already starting to boil. Keep an eye on that. What you want to do is take a fork and you can check that by just trying to see how tender they are. Okay, they're getting tender, not quite there. You don't want them way too tender. You want to kind of like a little firmness, but a little tender. So, got to be careful with that. So the water bo was boiling, so we put in one and a half boxes of this. The camera stopped for a second, so you guys didn't get to see me put the whole thing in there. Let me grab a spoon real quick. There's an entire box of pasta. One and a half boxes. Well, yes. We put in here. Stir but it I up. They, I meant they didn't get to see one whole box. You okay. We'll stir it up a little bit. And it's gonna take, you know, put your timer on if you want to. I'm gonna put it on for about 12 minutes and then check it out after that. You're gonna bring it back to a boil, let it simmer on there, leave your lid off. Oh, and now, <laughs> the next step. In this pan, what we're gonna do is take another one and a half tablespoons of butter, one and a half tablespoons of olive oil, and let's start that up. Put that on medium heat again. This is the onion, chopped finely. Throw that in there. And this is about four cloves of garlic that I cut up real nice and small. Again, chopped finely. Put that in there. You're gonna let these cook now until they become, the onions become translucent. And by that, if you don't know what that means, it means that they're gonna become clear. The asparagus is done now. Turn the flame off naturally. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna drain Drain all the water out of it. You can use a colander if you want to. I just use it kind of like this. Kind of use my lid. Get as much water as you can out of that. Meanwhile, as the water over here is going over the side, you can turn your Flame down a little bit on this if that starts happening. You want it to boil though still, so keep an eye on that. Anyway, so they're just gonna stay in there like that. You can leave a lid on it. I'm gonna leave it like this because I don't want them to cook any further. I kind of just want them, but I don't want them to get cold either. So in the meantime, still working on this. And then when they get translucent, then we'll get to the next step. 
And for the record, the uh, pasta, our stuff has a super burner, so it burns a little bit hotter. So the high for that is a lot it's higher than high. just a normal burner. Yes. And like Thank asparagus you. is on a low burner, so a high for that would be less than on a normal one. So. And that's why I adjust accordingly. And that's why I have my man Tom here helping me because. He knows that Dad forgets a lot of stuff. Also, yes, the handle over the side of the stove isn't exactly good safety, but no, we don't have anybody around who would flip it truth, over their head. It would be much harder for me to grab it like this. That's why I have exactly, it. Exactly, and we're responsible adults. Right. Well, somewhat. At least one of us is. Well, it's who obviously not me. Who are you talking? Oh, okay. You can't no, I'm a college yeah, you're student. you're responsible, aren't you? you if can... anything goes wrong, you're responsible. <laughs> Oh, well, that's just me. What? What we're going to do now is this is the basil leaves. You put them all like that and roll them like you're rolling something. I'm not exactly sure what you're rolling here, but some people will know how to do this better than others. Anyway, so then you're going to cut these little skinny ribbons off of this. There we go. There we go. That's that's how you cut up the basil. I just wanted to show you guys that. Now it's time to put in some wine. Remember, if you can't drink it, you don't cook with it. I'm putting one and a half cups of wine in here, and you're gonna throw that in there, and you want that to evaporate. So you're actually gonna, I think it's about a minute, probably about a minute it'll take for that. So leave that in there. The pasta is done now, so what I'm going to do is let that drain and set that pot like that. So that's been sitting there for about a minute, a little bit over a minute really. Next you want to pour in your tomato sauce and remember three cans. One, two, Now, in case you guys are wondering, this is 15 ounce cans. Tom was just going to tell you that. So anyway, That's then, what I was looking for. Yes, I know. Take your spoon, stir that up, nice and good, and then turn it on to low. and then add your cream in it. This is one and a half cups of heavy cream. It's so heavy, I can barely lift it. Anyway, so then you wanna stir that, like I said, and then let it simmer on low. I just got done cutting up the shrimp. We saved you guys the pain of actually watching it all but what I did is I cut it I cut all these in half so about that size and I'll, that one don't look right oh it's fine anyway put your shrimp in next into your sauce and you can also you can stir that up naturally I'm salivating right now, aren't you, Tom? All that shrimp in there. A little bit. Take, we have in here, we have our flat leaf parsley that we chopped up like this. This is about a third of a cup. Or is it a third? Yeah, no, it's it, actually, I. it's about a third of a cup, but you want to keep some aside for your garnish, so put it aside that much, you know, a little bit. We already bit. got some. We already put it aside. The rest of it just dump in, and this is all the, it was a package of, I, I think it was about eight leaves of uh, basil is what you want. And that's cut like ribbon-like and you pour that in there too. Stir that up nice and good. And again, we're going to let this simmer for a while. And then we will add in our other stuff and we'll probably have to put some salt and pepper in this to, for taste too. I let it warm up just a little tiny bit. You don't want to let it get cook it too much. So now we're going to put our asparagus in there also. 
And again, after each step of this, it's easier if you stir after each thing before before you add the next thing, so that you're not, you know, really straining to stir everything. So you put that in, and next is the pasta. So we dump in our pasta now. Be very careful. Don't burn yourself when you're doing this. Now we're going to stir this all up in here. Now why this is heating up, I'm going to let it heat up a little bit further and I'm going to taste it and I, I know I'm going to have to put salt and pepper in it because I always do so. But now we're cutting up the bread and also guess what? We had a couple guests show up just in time because Corn said he uh, loves hello. this part of it. Eating. I'm gonna stick you in here. Oh, eat the eating part. We show up as like one one person, the tall guy with the trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm hungry. I have two stomachs. <laughs> but corn is gonna help me butter the bread, right? Yeah. Remember yeah. what happened last time? Yeah. And guess what? And we're putting we're putting it in the broiler too. Nice. But we're not gonna burn it. Nope. Talk is cheap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is really easy. I'm gonna slap some butter on it. We don't have a whole lot of butter, soft oh, butter, yeah. so I think we have enough for this. So here's here you go. Here's your tool. That's my tool. <laughs> Actually, there's not that many. I think you can handle that whole thing. I think so. Yeah. Do you? No, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> it's disgusting, I was going to say. <laughs> and we're just going to wait for corn to get done this, and I'm going to turn the broiler on at the last second. Because last time I turned it on a little too far ahead of time. Hey, do you want something to drink? Uh, water, please. A beer? A water, please. Corn, you <laughs> corn, you want a beer? Oh, uh, beer, sure. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Only on Chillin' and Grillin'. Baby. Chillin' and Grillin'. Yeah. A nice meal. Right Alright, thank you. Oh, I gotta find another sleeve. What time is it? filming my, uh... I, got, I think I got, like, fleas in this shit. Hey, can you hand me my, uh... Do it over the pot of pasta. Over, my bottle opener right <laughs> there? Yeah. Did you notice anything about that bottle opener? <laughs> I do not. <laughs> you wanna get that on camera, Tom? <laughs> this is my bottle opener now. Don't know why there's a piece of tape on that. Could you put that over there for me, Tom? Thanks. Here you go, Corn. Oh, nice. Here you go. Oh. <sighs> Messing up. Messing up. You not done yet? No, sorry. Slow. Slow and steady. When's the race, you know? That's it. Mm-hmm. Except for if you're doing the Ninja Warrior. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> well, stage one time doesn't matter as long as you finish, so, you know, all as long good. As you don't fall? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're done? Think All right. Good. Now, if you want, since you're right there, you want to sprinkle a little garlic salt on each, each and every piece? <laughs> this is a new step. Or is there a new step? Ready for this? Or is there a Are you ready for this? No. Or just like, like, like kind of like this. Like, you know, that's how you shake. Like, you want to show, show, me, a more, training? Want to show me a few more rows? Yeah, you can do the last three. Oh, yeah. Monkey see, monkey do. Oh, that was that was nice. Not bad, not bad. That was a little skimpy on them too, but, <laughs> but that's alright. They'll burn. That's alright. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. gonna burn anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's burn it all <laughs> now we're gonna put it on broil. And make sure you have your door open. We're gonna put them right in. And this time. Oh, first of all, you got to move your one rack up to the top, put them in, keep an eye on them, don't talk to anybody. So put a little... Is that canvas? <laughs> it's a little, yeah, it's a little weed. <laughs> it's a little weed. No, it's, it's actually flat leaf parsley. And then we're going to put some, some Parmesan cheese on there. 
And there you go. Oh, we need a piece of bread too. Oh, excuse me. And there you go. Now for the taste test. All right. Smells good, doesn't it, Garfunkel? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, oh, did I well, get enough? She's moving. You see that? <laughs> what do you guys think? Pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. That sauce is nice. This is actually one of my favorite meals that I made. Really? Yep. Mm. You guys got to try this one out. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Everyone until reaches for their drink. Yeah. Until, <laughs> next, until next time, grab yourself something cold to drink, put your feet up and relax, and we'll meet you at the lounge.